And we move on now to an online scam that you'll see only on two. It is one that promises you your dream job, even sends you a check to get you started. But when you deposit that check, you find out it's fake. And that's when the scamming starts. It goes right after your money. Channel 2's Jennifer Bauer spoke with the Houston area victim. She's joining us live now. And Jen, this is something really anybody could easily fall for. Yeah, you know, and this particular victim is very embarrassed. She said she never thought she would fall for something like this. People need to know about this. Reagan Miller considers herself savvy, someone who would never fall victim to an online scam. But the 45 year old admits she was recently duped and now she wants to warn others. As embarrassed as I am to have fallen victim, um, I, people need to know. I had no idea that this was a new approach. Miller has been looking for a job online. Last week, she was contacted by a company that saw her resume and wanted an interview. It wasn't face to face. They used instant messenger, but Miller says it seemed legit. No red flags were raised because they never asked for any personal information, like her driver's license or social security numbers. Ignoring the the, the warning signs that were there because of the warning signs that weren't. In order to start her home based business with this company, they sent her a check for 4300 bucks. She was instructed to deposit the money through the ATM. Sometimes these scammers then want the victims to wire or withdraw the money before the checks clear. But Miller didn't make it that far. The check was determined to be fake. And now she says she's paying the price and has to prove to her bank that she is the victim. I did not uh, deposit that check knowingly. My account is closed. I'm not going to be able to use that account. Not only that, but I'm not going to be able to open another account. Yeah, right now she's working with her bank to get everything straightened out. She's also in the process of filing a police report. We're live tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News.